Hi everyone, it's Fitz with your daily delivery. Maybe the most important daily delivery in the history of daily deliveries. That's how important this daily delivery is to other daily deliveries. Yeah, well, and I might be exaggerating, uh, but I've got something on my mind and it's bugging the hell out of me. Like, why aren't you subscribing to our YouTube channel? I'm, I'm gonna say it. If you're not subscribing to this YouTube channel, you're, you're, you're a freeloader. You're freeloading on me. Now, look, it, it, I, you don't have to, but it helps us out. It doesn't cost you a dime and just spreads the algorithm out. Make sure you hit the thumbs up, leave those comments, turn on the notifications, all the good stuff on with the DD because I am so angry. Really not that angry. Hey, what's the name of Kansas State's mascot? I, look, it's Willie, right? You, you, everyone knows it's Willie, but what's his full name? If you looked at his driver's license, what would it say? What does his signature say? Well, yeah, it's Willie Wildcat. As a lifelong K-Stater, I started going to KSU Stadium when it opened in 1968. I was a little crap, but you know, I was, I was around. Maybe it was 69, maybe it was a year after, but I've been going there all my life. And it's always been Willie Wildcat. But lately I've noticed a lot of people are saying Willie the Wildcat, and it's kind of gotten worse over the past 10 years. And But Mitch Fortner, the announcer at K-State football games, the stadium announcer, a friend of mine, has always nailed it. Willie Wildcat. Until this season. Mitch is sold out. I'm sorry, Mitch. Mitch is given into the man, or woman. He's now saying Willie the Wildcat. And why? Why does Mitch have this so very wrong. Well, first of all, let me point out that Northwestern's mascot is named Willie the Wildcat. And if you're not familiar with the history of Kansas State sports, I'm the old guy that is. When Charles Bachman coached the Kansas State football program way back when, he came from Northwestern. And there's a lot of explanation there that makes sense. But he also noticed that his team played like, quote, a bunch of Wildcats. And thus the Aggies or farmers or whatever they were at that moment in time was gone and they were forever known as the Wildcats with a mascot named Willie Wildcat. Why are they getting it wrong now? Well, I went and checked the brand guide. Zach Carlson from my staff said, hey boss, go check that out. Sure enough, the brand guide done by people that must not know the history of K-State says Willie the Wildcat. Thus is why Mitch has changed. Mm. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I've been wrong my entire life. That wouldn't surprise anyone. And also it kind of bugs me when people tell me lavender isn't a school color. Well, white isn't either. And certainly silver on the pants and helmet isn't a school color. We do have brand guides for this, but the brand guides need to get it right. I say it's Willie Wildcat. That's the Kansas State mascot, not Willie the Wildcat. That's someone else's mascot. First name Willie, last name Wildcat. Part man, part cat, all awesome. Willie Wildcat. Mitch, man, don't sell out. Don't sell, get him, just do it. Defy authority, Mitch. Defy authority. Unless they're really mean, then don't do it. 